Where am I? I don't know where you are. <laughs> why, why, why? The bar in the left corner indicates fear. Gray indicates the fear limit, while white indicates the fear amount. Faint occurs whenever the fear amount is higher than the fear limit. During an attack, the fear limit decreases and the fear amount. So, what you're saying is... Phantom Project! Things are gonna try to kill me. That That's exactly what you're telling me. Lovely. Oh, shit. Exactly! What did you say? <laughs> oh, shit. see the ghost. That's all we want to do. <laughs> we literally just want to see the ghost. That's all we want to do. <gasps> hey, welcome to Phantom Project. What is this? Oh. I love when my phone randomly beeps to a message that I already got like an hour before. Oh, there we go. Phantom Project! Woo! Press any key. Okay, what do we got? Okay, settings. Uh, let's see. Controls. Um, I am using keyboard and mouse. Okay. Okay, seems relatively simple. Graphics. Um. Okay. Display. Okay, subtitles are on, tutorials are on, camera lag, brightness, okay. Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, be afraid of the test. Oh, don't be afraid, it's all part of the test, okay. Okay, so at 100, you can see everything perfectly. Okay, let's drop it down to like an 80 for now and then adjust it accordingly. Exactly! Exactly! Okay, I think we're good. Let's go. Easy, normal, hard. <laughs> Easy? <laughs> Easy there, game! I ain't going on hard mode. Not for this. Maybe if I knew what the hell to expect, then maybe, but not right now. I don't even know if, like, if we can die in this game. Okay. I like the graphics already. You need more than a candle to stay warm there, child. You need some shoes. Oh my god, the shadows! Am I a ghost now? Room 212. Uh oh, uh oh. Right. Oh my god, somebody took her. Where am I? I don't know where you are. <laughs> oh, I love her eyes. So pretty. Look, somebody found a blanket and a couch in your house. Oh, she's so cute. Hello? 
not as much. Whom it may concern. Unravel whatever mysteries are discovered and survive whatever threats are encountered. Pay attention to your surroundings and remember that both logic and imagination are key to solving puddles. Puzzles and riddles. Be clever and find the solution or be persistent and succeed through trial and error. I mean, I'm gonna trial and error. Message contents fears doors. What? The bar in the left corner indicates fear. Gray indicates the fear limit, while white indicates the fear amount. Faint occurs whenever the fear amount is higher than the fear limit. During an attack, the fear limit decreases and the fear amount increases. Oh, shit. The fear amount also slowly increases when there is a threat and quickly decreases when there is no threat. The fear limit can be replenished by eating or drinking. Doors are closed from the inside by looking outside and closed from the outside by looking inside. Looking back affects the side where the doors are closed since it switches the view to the opposite side. Doors can also be opened and closed quickly while running. So, what you're saying is... Things are gonna try to kill me. That That's exactly what you're telling me. Lovely. <laughs> I don't know why I blew out my candle, like... There, there goes a wasted match, like, right off the bat. My bad. <laughs> I thought, I don't know, for some reason, I thought I could just put the candle back in my pocket for a minute. Yep, what, what, one match down. I was thinking in terms of, like, preserving my, my stuff, right? Which, obviously, um, that did not work out very well. Okay, so, first opinion right now, I really like what I see. Second opinion, I don't like the idea that I'm gonna get murdered and chased by things. Mm. <laughs> of course, who doesn't put like candles on the- I don't know, for some reason it's like I thought the, the candle would just like automatically just go out nicely in our pocket and everything would be fine. Eh? severely creeped out no time to eat now laundry i what what if i gotta do stop it i don't know what's happening but stop it basement am i in the wrong spot dude i don't like this house it's way too fucking big and this peeking is that a ghost Oh, can I open it? Oh, this is, this is probably a bad idea. Hello? Seriously, who turns off all the fucking lights? Oh no, that's like a, a statue or something. Oh, another door. Why? know how I feel about this. It's not plugged in. Oh, okay. I mean, I guess it's doing very well on the vibes. 
I'm like severely creeped out. If that if that's good. An elevator. Also, where the f do I go in the elevator? Oh, oh, I don't like that. Oh god, oh god, I can turn my angle like that. Do I go in here? Should I do this? I don't know. Hello? Can I do this? Um. Oh. <laughs> agreed, agreed. I think mainly because also we don't really have like a set objective, at least not yet. Right! Like, this, uh, I don't know, this house is just way too big. I was like, can I fit through here? Okay, I can. Is there something here? No, there's nothing here. What? <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. I give the game credit, though. It looks beautiful. Oh, this one's locked? You think it's a puzzle? So I was thinking it was more or less just to get us access to that door. So we did get access to the door, it's just we don't have a key for it. Cause there's nothing on this table. bathroom. Mind you, it looks like it's just this door right here. So we're on the fourth floor. I don't know why I went up this far, though. Like, we should probably go back to the first floor and kind of see if we could find out what the hell we're doing, right? That, exactly, that's what I'm saying. So maybe we should go back to the first floor? Uh. Hopefully it takes us back to the ground floor. Uh, there, oh, okay, I gotta make sure I hit stop at the right spot. Okay, okay. Cause I don't- I don't want to go to the basement. The basement just doesn't seem like a good idea. Okay, so what if I go this way? Okay, kitchen we couldn't enter. Yeah, like the only hints that they gave us so far are what to do when we start getting scared or we experience an attack. And they're telling us how to run, which 
I don't want to run. Mmm, I wish. I feel like break this door down so I can go get food. Can I turn on the- obviously we have no power. Like, why is she alone in this giant house? If the candle is on a timer, we're probably not going to make it very far. <laughs> okay, room assignment. So it's like, so it's a hotel. Catherine Baker, Helen Bennett, Grace Wolf, Madeline Sinclair. 205 is empty. Lynna Harper, 207, Giant Clark. Sorry, wait, Audrey. Oh, okay. To all senior staffs, or maybe a school, yeah. In light of the recent incident, power cannot be fully restored in the ladies' wing. Advise all maids to gather the belongings and proceed to the hospital bedrooms immediately. You will be sharing bedrooms with the nurses until the wiremen have it all sorted out by the end of this week. Mrs. Sereza and her team are in charge of laundry duty, so hand her the key to the office as soon as she returns. P.S. Be mindful of the patients in the lower areas and tell the magpies to keep their gobs shut unless they fancy lying on cobblestones. It's a hospital? So I'm a patient? Okay, so... Okay, this here, I can't enter here, okay. So this doesn't, this doesn't work. This doesn't work. Okay, so we're supposed to go out that door, okay. I like the music. And there's nothing here? Yeah, I can't go there. So what I want to know, like, when they talk about attacks, right? Are they talking about, like, ghosts? Or, like, people? Like, do we got some, like, outlast shit going on? Or paranormal stuff? Okay, so elevator. Oh yeah, that's true, eh? Oh, I don't like this hallway. Oh, it opens. Of course it freaking opens. Uh. Ah. Uh. Okay, wait, where am I? 207, okay. Okay, so 207 and 205 are supposed to be empty. True. Eh? Well, that's- <laughs> I was like, that doesn't help me! What about 201? 201 is Catherine Baker. Or was Catherine Baker? Are you still in here? It's locked, okay. See, I'm nervous because whenever I looked at the game originally, I was like, oh, the graphics look good. It looks eerie, you know, that kind of thing. And now it's like, I feel like the more we walk around, I, I'm, I'm worrying about like the whole like, Outlast style situation, and I swear I'm gonna snap. Audrey Smith. I swear one time we're gonna do this and there's gonna be something peeking out through like a keyhole at us. 
It's just, it's, it's gonna happen. 212. Jennifer Hall. Well, that's what they said. That's what this game is gonna do to you. It's probably the sense of that impeding of something that something's gonna happen that is like severely stressing. Yeah, as over. So you gotta say like the vibes are good on it. It's definitely doing the perfect point to it. All good? We can't give you very much detail about the game right now because we're trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Okay, so Madison Sinclair. There's no real objectives in the game. So we're just trying to like, kind of figure out some things. I feel like I should have just closed that door, but. Lena Harper. The nurse's room? Well, I mean, if it's through this area, we may get to it soon enough. Two o three is Grace, and two o nine is empty. Okay. The shadow? <laughs> the shadows are really good, though, eh? Okay, there's a normal looking door. Elevator, other door. Okay, what's this? Okay, that takes me to a staircase. <gasps> Oh, my heart. Oh, I think I just died. Right? She's so cute, though. Okay, we can't go this way. Bathroom. Why can't we go to the bathroom, game? I don't like that freaking sound. I don't want to go through this door. Second floor. Right, but. Okay, let's check down. Stop it. Oh! Okay, 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 we're here again. Where the elevator was and, okay, that, okay, okay. Oh my God. My poor heart. See, I feel like if it's like little like jump scares like that, it would be perfect. I just don't, I don't just want to be chased. I feel like that's just gonna like ruin everything. Upper quarters. Oh, I don't like how dark it is. God, God, it's so fucking big. God. Okay, still can't touch the bathroom.
303. Eva Langley. 309. Dahlia Harlow. Oh my god. wonder if there is things in here that will hunt you or chase you or whatever will running i know the peaking like oh will i be chased okay 312 is supposed to be empty Like, will my running alert whatever, whatever, right? Margaret. Oh, there's a bed in this one. Oh. Oh, shit, my controller. Wait, why is controller vibrating? Wait, controls. Gamepad. Switch view, select. Ah, turn that off. Jesus. Dear friend scene, I'll be off duty by the time you read this letter and I can't hand the key to any of our dodgy sisters because of you know who, the woman reeks of evil, I tell you. I thought I'd give it to the old wind hag, but I reckon she'll give me an earful of morse. Hand it to that villain anyhow. This is, tis in our secret stash now, wink, wink. By the way, do you recall the movie I was prattling on about when my head was bang on? I dare say the key actor ca shan't cast a shadow of a doubt till you witness the curful behind the scenes. I'm off. Wait, is that the hint? Okay. The key is in our secret stash. Bang on key casted a shadow behind the scenes. Okay. Hello. Movie? How unflattering. And reeks. True. So I guess I gotta fix my candle, eh? Damn you, ghost! Blowing out my candle and shit! I was not expecting that one to open. <laughs> oh. Twas the wind. Are you sure it was the wind? Um, that was, wait, uh, Margaret's room, I think? 311. Margaret's, uh, Cereza, I believe. Yeah. But then Cereza gave it to somebody else. With the hint that we have. So I, I don't remember if we if we already checked this this section. So I'm kind of just like re I can't remember. 
remember. This place is just too big. hallway. Oh, the shadows are so creepy, though. Especially her shadow. I keep feeling like there's something behind me. floor. Okay, so let's go down one floor and just kind of see where we are. Okay, so that door's open. So that means we've been there? Well, that's the, the thing with the running. Yeah, we've been here. Is that I don't know if anything can hear us if we run? Because the whole attack thing has my brain going, are we gonna get attacked? Okay, back to the fourth floor. Well, there's been a couple of scares. But just seems very straightforward so far. And it was nothing that caused her fear bars to spike yet. I gotta go with the yet part, obviously, you know. Okay, and then we're back here again. But that ghostly sound is creepy, though. Whatever the hell that sound is. Okay. So this is the room that we were in earlier with the pushing of the boxes. Which we assumed was just to get access to that door. But maybe there really is more to it. But it's weird though because there's nothing over here. That's a little strange. Oh, the basement? Oh, I don't want to go there. <laughs> you know the other issue? With the whole basement thing? Um, I need to find an elevator that actually works now. Because I believe the elevator, you have to use it where you left it off. See, the elevator's gone. Now, do you remember where I put the elevator? Like, what floor, what section? Like... I don't remember. Okay, so we gotta go all the way down again. So... Could be second. Because it's so confusing! Because this place is just so freaking big!
Also, everything seems to, like, blend together to me. Like, right now. Because it's so big. Mm. Okay, there's the elevator. Assuming it lets me use it. Let's see. Oh, it won't let me go to the basement. So we can't. Okay. So we can't go to the basement. I'm just gonna just chill in the elevator for a second here. Okay, so the riddle that they gave us. We have to find the key that they're talking about. And then that can, that'll bring us to whatever the hell we're supposed to do next. Yeah, so basically, so this is the riddle that we have to figure out. Which makes it very, uh, tricky. Okay. So I'm just I'm just reading something. continuing the game though <laughs> okay let's go back to room 310 well so, so a couple people managed to complete the game other people said that once the ghost lady appears the game gets much much more complicated and the checkpoint saves between the areas is way too far in between so most people had to like literally keep repeating and repeating and repeating because they kept failing on top of the not knowing what to do so everything is pretty good up until the ghost spawns and then everything goes to shit and it's like fuck <laughs> But I want to see the 
ghost. Hello. I want to at least attempt it. You, you, you know what I mean? Because it goes to exactly. Okay, so. 310. Okay. We were in 310. Is it randomly generated for people, maybe? Because according to the thing that I was looking at, 310 is the room you need. 310 is empty. There ain't nothing in 310 for us. So maybe it's back in what's her name's room then? Where she first blew out the candle on us back in 311? Maybe the key is actually in her room? But I don't see anything in here. Yeah. Just let me know when you want me to switch pages. Okay. Cause the other thing that's also a little confusing is that we've checked every floor. We've checked all of these rooms. So every room that we've Yeah, we've checked every... Oh shit, I gotta answer this message. Yeah, so like, so far, outside of the riddle that we haven't figured out, we've checked everywhere. So now I'm wondering if things are randomly generated between those other people's opinions and this. Because they specifically said 310. Yeah, they said 310 is the room that we need to check for the screen. But there's no screen in 310. 310 is empty. We've checked them all, though. We've literally checked all, flo all four floors. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, back to the roof. Okay. So cry cryptic letter. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. See, and there's nobody named Francine. So I was thinking, if you look at the cryptic letter, right? Dear Francine. So I was like, okay, maybe one of the, the people's name is Francine, but... Catherine, Helen, Grace, Madeline, Lena, Diane, Sarah, Jen. There's nobody called Francine. Okay. Yeah. Francesca. So it's like, it's a play on words, right? For their names also. But also doesn't make any sense because this room is Margaret. Uh... 
do you remember that room? <laughs> do you? It was the first room that you peeked in. So back on the first floor? Enough, ghostly lady. Perfect, thank you. Okay, I'll, I'll go back to the first floor because at this point I have no freaking idea, so. Also, notice how the, the there's no shadows over there anymore for some reason. Wait. Wait, that's 312. That room. Oh, wait. Okay, let me go. Wait, did I not? Okay, wait. 311. Right, so this this is 310. Oh, okay. Right, but 310 is still Yeah, 310 is still empty regardless. Okay. Oh. Honestly, the way, the way I view it, I think I want to try to at least get to the ghost. See how it plays out, and then we move on to something else. I know the developers are still working on the game, or at least they're supposed to be still working on it by, like, taking in people's feedbacks and stuff. Because, I mean, they did say that this game is a prototype. So prototype to me means it's definitely still a work in progress stuff. I just feel like like my personal opinion, I feel like they created this amazing aspect. They just don't know what to do with it. Your laundry's out. Oh no. <laughs> that that's how I feel. Is a power socket. Okay, but you can't let me grab the TV wire though. Okay. So see, now they're talking about the TV not being plugged in, right? And the power socket, but you can't grab the wire. To turn on the TV. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay. Okay, we got a. I got a cookie! Yay! I always wanted a cookie. That's true. They won't let me in the kitchen, though. It's not very nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure, honestly. TV room, we can't do the... We can't plug in the TV. So this is back at the, the entrance. So the lobby area. 
So the game saves when you're in here. That means everything else that you you complete. If only I had the key. Right, that's the key that we're missing. But we don't know where it is. saves in this room. So everything you complete, running away from the ghost, all that stuff, you have to constantly get back here to save. That's fucked. in charge of laundry duties. So, and Kareza, that's the room where they gave us the hint on the key. So basically, it's, it's in here. This is the riddle that we have to figure out. Secret stash now, wink, wink. <laughs> like, I don't know. We've checked every freaking room. This is redonkulous. See, everybody's saying room... No. But that's the thing. Everybody's saying room 310. But 310 for us is empty. There's no screen. There's no nothing in 310.
Wait, sorry, I'm just I'm just checking something really quickly here. Campaign is closed. So I'm wondering. Flexible goal? Well, the, so the thing is, this game is a free-to-play game on Steam. I just, I seen, the, you, like, you know whenever you're browsing looking for games, right? I seen the pop-up on Steam and it was like, oh, this looks good. It looks, the graphics look, look great. So fair, it doesn't hurt to give it a shot, to give it a chance, right? It, it doesn't cost anything to try it out. I just want to see the ghost. That's all I want. I just want to see the ghost. But this part here is just making me a little bit laugh just a tad. Uh, click this one and uh, click about the campaign and then scroll down just a tad. I think I might open up somebody's playthrough just to kind of just see something. I just want, I want us to see the ghost. So somebody speed ran the game. You can actually speed run? Okay, let me open YouTube. I just want to see what are we missing? Project gameplay. Uh, yes, this is the one I want. I do like the music, though. Okay. Do you see that, though? What, uh, what I'm showing you? Okay, creepy game. Let's go, let's go, let's see. Wow, this person did not fix the gamma like we did, though. So dark. What, they have three cookies? How the fuck do you have three cookies? Mother fudger. Oh, okay, okay. So basically, okay. It, it was just the, the crowdfunding project of how much they wanted um, people to back their game in order to finish developing the game. So it, it just kind of made me laugh because this is how much they wanted in crowdfunding to finish developing the game. So it just kind of made me laugh a little. Okay. Also, we are going to switch games soon. I mean, that's a, that's a ridiculous amount of money. Uh, I think it's on the... Th yeah, I'm going back to the push puzzle. 
Oh no, we can always run. It's just, I wasn't sure if running would alert the ghosts, the, the ghost lady. Also, for the record, do you remember where the push puzzle is? <laughs> I'm, I'm confused on the floor now again. Was it on the fourth floor? I think it was the fourth floor. I don't fucking remember. This place is too big. Okay. Oh, there, there we go. Okay. So, I'll show you what we didn't notice the first time we were in this room, okay? So we, we still gotta figure out the puzzle here, but right here. So in this room, okay, can you stand up? If you look right over here, wait. No, not here? Where is it? Oh, right here, sorry. Right up there. So we gotta get into that vent. Basically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely, definitely, you were right. It just, we just didn't think of upwards. Good morning. Yeah. And it, sh it shouldn't be that hard of a puzzle, technically. It's just, we just didn't see that. Yeah, um, honestly, in all seriousness, though, I do not recommend trying the game. <laughs> the game is not finished, okay? We'll, ju we'll just say it like that. We're just... trying out some, uh, some things with it. We literally just want to see the ghost. That's all we want to do. Well, yeah, they, uh, they, they turned off the crowdfunding. Wait, why can't I push you? Why do you not work? Oh, you won't push because of that. Okay, wait, okay. Um, I don't think it's, it's that it's buggy. It's just... It's weird. It's it's like it's hard to explain. So like they have one save point area, right? Which once you start getting hunted by the ghost, it's a major pain in the ass to get to that save point. So you're going to constantly die and have to repeat trying to clear your objectives while Trying to get back to your save point so that way you don't lose progress? Yeah, but... If the stealth was that simple, then I don't think 90% of the people that played it would, like, complain about how shitty it is, right? In a sense. Okay, how the fuck do we get up there now, though? Okay, I pushed everything. Okay, okay, smart game. We're, we did it. <laughs> how do I get up there? <laughs> um. Oh, okay. 
Okay, onwards to rechecking this video again. Okay. So how do you get up after you push all the boxes? Uh, wait. Are you telling me that she could actually do that? Wait, really? I feel like this is still not gonna work though because we don't have the key to open up the other door. Because here's the other... Wait, unless... Okay, oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay, so she can get up like that. But then... What? <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, these two have to go over here. That way I can cross across it. Okay, 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 I get it now. Okay, cool. <laughs> Jump. Teleport. Teleport would work, right? She can totally teleport. Okay, so this one's probably not gonna pull out now because of... Okay, no, perfect. It still does. Okay. Like, I do hope that the developers take into consideration what everybody has said about the game and factor that in and make good changes, because I love the graphics. And the vibes are really good. It's just, you know. Some slightly better objectives would be quite nice. years. Yeah, some objected at all. Like, so the developer said the memo papers in the game literally give you your answers. That's how important they are. And it's like, okay, I get it. But they also have to make sense. Like, okay, so here's the movie room, here's the screen. I hate that rat sound, oh my god. No one's inside? I don't like that, don't do that. And there's no key behind it. And of course this is locked. So once again, it's like, um... Okay, now what? This is so weird. I just want to see the ghost.
Oh. This game, man. This game. Okay, we have a power plug. Nope. Okay, so does this go for the TV? That just seems so weird again. Why go all the way back to the freaking TV? They talked about the damn screen. For sure, for sure. Uh, okay, TV room is first floor. Oh my god, your sounds, man. That's true, that's true. I think what's getting to me is because now we're finally making progress. <laughs> I'm like, yo, what if we could actually finish it? Obviously, I doubt it there, but... This is my greedy. is not working. What? Game! I thought I finally had it! Now the screen doesn't work. save for a second here. I want to see what we have to do now. Okay. So we pop the thing into the TV. TV is not working even after we put the power in. So what am I missing?
cookie! Okay, we got the tape. Now we gotta go all the way back to that room. All the way back. <laughs> so the tape was in the VCR the entire time. Which I thought we couldn't eject the tape if we didn't have the power. But turns out you can still eject it even without the power. Yeah. So technically we could have had the tape a while back and not have to do the extra backtracking. credit though the graphics are amazing oh for sure for sure and if they actually took time and made some changes like according to like what everybody wants this game could be actually really good like dot 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 there obviously she's a power socket Tis on the blink, I'm afraid. Don't be afraid. Okay, there we go. Now before you were blindfolded, my assistant gave you a tour and showed you the four rooms. What can you tell me about the four rooms? The rooms are empty. And a little dusty. Can you tell me the room numbers? Yes, Doctor. Okay. 204, 211, 305, and 310. Do you know which room you're in? No, Doctor. But if you had to guess, which room would it be? 211? No. Can you try again? 305? She did. But what if I lied to you? What if you're not in 204? I... I don't understand. If we keep your blindfold on, can you find out where you are? I... I'm not sure. What about using sound? Think of bats. They can scream at a high frequency to pinpoint their location. Would you like to uh, give us where we're supposed to go next? Oh, if the ghost is mine, then it shouldn't want to kill me! Right? <laughs> My key's here! Calm down! Hey, we got the office key! Yeah, but we got the office key! Now my only thing. <gasps> I don't know if we can 
YOLO <laughs> getting to that spot now, though. Oh, it saves. Yeah. You know what's funny? I talked about wanting to see the ghost, right? And now that the ghost is finally, like, coming, I'm extremely nervous, and I don't want to meet it. Like, can, she, can the ghost get me up here? Because <laughs> here's the thing, right? If we start YOLOing to the safe room, we're probably gonna get caught. brain's like, we should run, and then the other part's like, yeah, it's not a good idea to run. Answered your question, eh? <laughs> Cookies! We're gonna eat one cookie. There we go. Replenish our our, our fear a tad. Okay, I know your phone's ringing. I know. Wait. No milk. Yeah. <laughs> I'm lost in this nightmare. And I want to wake up. But I'm afraid I'll wake up. And find myself in the same nightmare. Is there a future for me? Or was there no hope to begin with? Playing. Oh, we finished it! Okay, wait! Okay, cool, cool. So now I'm wondering if the issues that people had was because they couldn't remember where the safe room was. 
Ending A easy. One hour, 17 minutes, D rank. You pass the test, <laughs> D rank. I mean, yeah, it makes sense. I mean, we took a, we took a while. Okay. I mean, I'm okay with one ending. That's literally all we need. We don't need the other endings. So honestly, though, if we would have seen that damn hole in the wall earlier, we would have finished it much, much quicker. But we didn't see the freaking hole in the wall. I thought it was going to get- Well, the way that the reviews said it, they made it sound like it was a lot harder. So I'm thinking that people were running back through the, the, the hospital wing instead of like running down the stairs right to the exit. So I think people were just getting lost. But we remembered exactly where the office was, so it's basically get down the stairs and get through to that area. So I think if you if you remember things, then it makes it a little bit easier.